Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Arsenal. On today's show, we'll be looking at Arsenal's last game that was Everton and I'll be providing my post-match reaction and analysis to that game. Later on, I'll be also giving my player ratings for that game for all the Arsenal players that are involved. We'll be discussing some transfer rumours for the players that have been involved with Arsenal or linked with Arsenal for the past week and the breaking news that involves Spotify CEO owner is planning a takeover bid with three Arsenal invincible players that we all Arsenal love and know very well. Let's start with today's show. Before I start talking about that we played against Everton, I got a put my hats off and salute all the Arsenal fans gathered around the Emirates Stadium before kickoff started protesting against Kronke's our current owners of the club or the so-called owners that don't care and haven't invested any money whatsoever. The fans were protesting so loudly, voicing their opinions, passionate about their club, trying to get club back in their hands and have the ownership and uh, include that 50 plus 1 ownership like the German clubs have. Seeing the pictures, videos was uh, a great thing from an outside fan perspective. Let's talk about the on-pitch problems that have been going on. Arsenal's home form has been worse, has been going worse and going down and it has continued with the Everton performances. The whole team was flat. We didn't really look like scoring and uh, neither did Everton for that matter. If you look at the stats or the match analysis, both the halves were pretty average. We had the majority of the possession, like 60% of the uh, possession. We created the highest number of shots in the match that was 14 as compared to 12 by Everton. We had the more XG as compared to Everton like we were 0.80. Everton had 0.5. It was going to be a you know draw, a boring 0-0 draw. But somehow Arsenal found a way to short in our, ourselves in the foot like we always do. Surprise! So you know that's like classic Arsenal that's what we do best. We try and convert our wins into draws and our draws into losses. And that's why uh, Arteta, you know, is losing control or uh, losing fans or uh, we aren't trusting his process anymore or uh, believe in him. Really think we should give him this summer and then really think if he deserves, we deserve to change the manager or not. Now, let's talk about the player ratings. First, Leno. What you what were you doing, man? He lost his focus and con- uh, concentration for the goal, own goal he conceded. I mean, the ball he just let the ball slip by his hands, and uh, the ball stuck his inside leg, and the ball you know just trickled inside our net. And I was like, what just happened there? And Richarlison was like. Uh, doing some samba dance you know like yeah i just scored a great goal man it was a really bad howler from leno as i already told you in my match previews you can watch the video the link will be here in the you know card where i have said uh, that leno has been pretty average this season and we needed him back in confidence and back in form but that didn't really happen so i'll be giving him four four 4 out of 10. Chambers didn't uh, uh, really did a great job at, you know, care of uh, Lucas Dignier on that side. So, I'll be giving him a 6. Folding and Mary didn't really perform very well, especially Pablo Mary. He was losing, uh, you know, Richarlison uh, very regularly. And I'll be giving both of them 5 out of 10. And Jaka was the weakness and that's why the Everton players were you know, focusing on our, you know, left hand side or the left back area. Xhaka really struggled out of position in this game. So I'll be giving him again five. Thomas Partey and Danny Ceballos were the pick of the players in the middle of the park. They were the guys that were performing really well. So I'll be giving both of them a 7 out of 10. Saka, I think this was the very poor performance from Saka. 
as much as i love saka this was a very poor performance from him so i'll be giving him a 5 out of 10 for this performance uh, emil smith row who played in the center attacking midfield role was also pretty average but he was doing a bit of you know magic or trying to connect with the forward line so i'll be giving him a 6 out of 10 klos pepe the most threatening out of the three i'll be giving him 7 out of 10 and uh, as far as a striker goes adi enketia i'll be giving him a 6 out of 10 he was pretty decent but uh, uh, as i mentioned he he doesn't deserves to you know lead our line for 90 minutes or 80 minutes i really think gabriel martinelli should have started this game arteta as a manager i give him 5 out of 10 for this match 5 5 out of 10 why because he took off pepe you know the most threatening player in the match for us that was uh, making thing uh, click and happen uh, in the match and uh, arteta took him off i don't know why he took him off so i'll be giving arteta 5 out of 10 he still lacks that in game management and how to do you know substitute so he is still a novice in that field i hope for arteta that he really you know learns that thing and i really hope that war i don't know what to say about war man war really has something against us against us and the referee i'll be giving the referee 3 out of 10 man how did he miss that tackle by mason holgate i mean that was a straight red card in my opinion if you look closely at that tackle if it was granite jaka or david luiz doing that tackle i'm pretty sure they bo- both would be getting a red card for that but as it was mason holgate he got away with a uh, yellow card and as the they say referees english refs don't know don't really know how to you know ref the uh, refereeing the game and again var made itself uh, you know popular during this game i mean if you look at the images and go look pepe is not you know it's very 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 tight you it's not a game of centimeters even it's a like a millimeter even i don't know how they made made that decision we can't blame the refs we can't blame the var because we again shot ourselves in the foot and we are we should be blaming ourselves because we let the goal we let the goal in by our silly mistakes yet again so we really are a cup team at this point we shouldn't expect great things from this team there is no consistency right now that consistency uh, consistency is really missing right now i hope really hope now that the thursday game or the thursday tie uh between the between villarreal and arsenal becomes the most important game of the season now let's talk about some transfer rumors uh recently we have been linked with anderson he is a defender currently playing for fulham uh, as we know fulham are in a relegation battle right now and josham anderson recently transferred over from leon he plays the cent- right center back role for fulham and he's been having a decent season for them I actually really like him he's a decent age uh, really tall can really pass from the back but i don't know if we should go for him as we re- uh, have many other young defenders in a you know that are gone unknown especially william saliba that we have spent 30 million on so i really hope uh, there is a plan to use him properly in the next season upcoming season and then we have mavropanos as well who's been doing really well on loan at stuttgart so i really hope we have some kind of plan for both of them if we really want to you know get that right center back i really think we should extend david luis contract by one year because the influence that he carries on the team and the you know leadership he offers on, on the field for us what do you guys think arsenal fans let me know in the comment section down below on what you guys think that uh, should uh, arsenal be offering a extension to david luis or not because it's a uh, david Lu- uh, luis is a you know controversial figure among us arsenal fans but i believe he's been our best cent- uh, one of our best center backs this season he's performed really well uh, so i think we should be offering him that you know contract ex- extension breaking news spotify ceo daniel eek he is a swedish uh, billionaire that uh, he co- he is a ceo of spotify so recently he's been in the news uh, he recently tweeted on his twitter that uh, he is thinking of uh, placing uh, he's been a childhood arsenal fan and he is planning a takeover bid with three arsenal invisible players that he is asking for help and those three are Harry uh, Henry Harry Henry Dennis Bergkamp and Patrick Vieira yeah that's right daniel e 
is uh, worth 3.4 billion pounds so the streaming service spotify is valued at 51.9 billion pound and uh, i also read that uh, daniel or onstein who is a very uh, remarkable you know journalist and well known among all of us arsenal fans uh, recently reported that uh, the cronkies and the uh, the whole uh, kse uh, aren't looking to sell arsenal right now or in the future as they uh, think of arsenal as a jewel in the sporting franchise uh, franchises that they own across multiple uh, you know uh, ports so they aren't looking to sell arsenal so i don't know if uh, this takeover bid will happen or uh, cronkies will sell this club because of the value and uh, the revenue that they earn from this club i really hope that the cronkies sell this club because they haven't invested their own money they haven't cared about us it's been 14 15 years since they t- took over this club and the club has been going on a steady decline as i already mentioned in my kronke out video that you can check out in the link here in the description uh, in the description as well cards as well here around here so you can check that out, uh, out as well so i really hope that kronke is sell uh, the club and let someone who is an arsenal fan and uh, also let uh, on the arsenal invincibles like uh, hondry burkamp and viera into the club so that they know us they know us fans so they can help us uh, get through this so i really hope that uh, tan kronke and josh kronke and the kse whole consider this idea i really hope they sell uh, let me know this in the comment section as well on what you guys think uh, will happen will uh, daniel a uh, be uh, successful uh, or not or the will the kronke uh, sell the club if you guys are new to the channel do subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter and instagram if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like it share it with other arsenal fans and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace